Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guy mini series. In this series of videos, we'll be creating a WordPress theme that uses Twitter Bootstrap. All right, so here's a brief summary of what you'll learn in this series. So you'll learn how to build a WordPress theme front to back and how to customize certain areas such as the main post loop, pages, archived posts, search results, comments, and more. You'll learn how to implement the Twitter Bootstrap framework into WordPress including the nav walker class which will allow us to have drop down menus you also learn how to implement the wordpress theme customizer api into your projects and you might even pick up some extra php skills along the way so what you should know before actually attempting this you should definitely know html and css you should know some basic WordPress skills, how to how to set up WordPress, um, how to create posts and pages, very, real minimal stuff. Uh, basic PHP, if you don't know any PHP, you still can get by because we're pretty much going to be using just snippets and I'll explain um, the functionality as we as we go along. Um, and also programming fundamentals, things like variables, loops, arrays, very basic programming stuff will, will help you. Um, in this course, in this series. So what we'll be building is a simple WordPress bootstrap blog template. If this page here looks familiar to you, it's because it's actually one of the example uh, starter templates that, that's available at getbootstrap.com. So what we'll be doing is taking that and converting it into a WordPress theme. And then this page here is actually, uh, I created this in addition to this, it's going to be a custom front page, all right, because we can have a custom front page that uh, is different than the rest of the website. So I'll show you how to implement that. Um, if you look over here, we have the different features that we'll be getting into. The Nav Walker class is something that we can download and use to, to give us uh, drop down menus so that if we create a WordPress page that has a parent, it'll actually get put in as, um, as a sub menu, or as a sub item. All right, we'll also be working with the WordPress post loop, comment functionality, uh, custom header and footer files, sidebar widgets, um, homepage widgets, I didn't write that, uh, post thumbs and metadata, custom templates, post formats, uh, archive and search page layouts, custom front page and the theme customizer API. All right, so enough of these slides. Let's go ahead and get started and start to create our WordPress theme. All right, so before we jump into WordPress and creating a theme, I want to get the HTML down first. So we're going to create a basic HTML template based off the example template from getbootstrap.com and then we'll go ahead and convert that into a WordPress theme. So for my text editor, I'm using Atom. Of course, you can use whatever you like. Uh, Atom is, is really nice, as well as Sublime Text. You've probably seen me use that if you've watched other videos as well. Uh, so I'm at getbootstrap.com, and what we're going to do is go to Getting Started. All right, and we're first going to go ahead and download Bootstrap. Okay, so we're going to grab that zip file, and let's open that up. And then I'm going to create a folder on my desktop for our HTML template. All right, and we'll just call this, um, uh, we'll say bootstrap, let's call this WP bootstrap underscore HTML. Okay, and then let's open that up and we're going to create a couple things here. We're going to want a CSS folder. We're going to want a JS folder. Okay, and then from the zip file that we, we downloaded, let's bring over bootstrap.css. We're going to bring that to our CSS folder. And same thing with the JavaScript file. We want to bring over bootstrap.js. All right, and then in our HTML folder, we're going to create our index.html. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is in my Atom text editor, I'm just going to add that folder as a project. Okay, so now we have access to it over here. Let's go ahead and open up index.html. And then let's go back to get bootstrap and go back to getting started. And actually, let me make this a little bigger. 
on the side over here we want to go to examples and go down to this um, this blog template right here all right we're going to click on that and it's going to show us the theme or the template and what we're going to do is view the source code with control u and just grab everything that's in there all right and then we'll paste that in our index html file i'm going to have to make this a little bigger as well okay so let's go all the way to the top now now we're going to need to change a few things here. If we go ahead and save and then we try to look at our template by opening index in a browser, it's going to look like this. Okay, so it's just the HTML. The CSS isn't um, registering yet. So let's fix that. So in the head area, you have this bootstrap CSS reference. It's it's not pointing to the right place. What we want to do is just get rid of this. So it's going right to the CSS folder and we're not using the minified version. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So it's just bootstrap.css. All right. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff that we don't need here. We don't need from here. This IE 10. I don't really care about IE 10. Um, and then this blog.css. This is referring to this file here. If we go to the source code, and you look at this right here, link href blog CSS. Let's go ahead and open that in another tab. And it's just some extra styles in addition to the, the main bootstrap CSS. So let's grab all this. And then what we're going to do is in our CSS folder, we're going to create a new file and I'm going to call it style.css. And then we're going to paste everything that's in there. OK, so we'll save that. And then we're going to go ahead and just change this to CSS slash style dot CSS. All right. And then from here down to the the ending head tag, we can get rid of that. OK, so just clean this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and save it and let's look at our template. That's not it. Here it is. Reload. And now it looks just like the sample template. Now for right now, we're going to just leave all the static HTML I mean, we can clean it up a little bit, clear some of this white space. And then down at the very bottom where we're including our scripts, you can get rid of this comment. And this right here is referencing jQuery. It's using the uh, Google CDN. So we're going to keep that. Uh, we don't need this, this line here. OK, we don't need that. Now this here we need to fix as well. This is going to go to just JS slash bootstrap dot JS. All right. And then we don't need this IE 10 hack either. Get rid of that. OK, so that is our static template for the index page. Now we're going to have a custom front page. So I would figured that we get that out of the way, that HTML out of the way. So let's go ahead and uh, create another index. I'm sorry, another HTML file, and we're going to call this one front.html. And let's grab everything that's in the index page for now, and paste that into front. All right, and then we're going to change a few things here. Uh, we want to keep the head. We want to keep the nav menu. What we don't want is everything that's in the container here. So that container ends right above the footer. So we're going to just get rid of all that. Okay, get rid of that. Now we're going to have a main showcase area. Okay, which will have a, a big heading and a, a background image. Now the image you can get from uh, in the description, there should be a link to um, to download the entire theme as well as the just the HTML template that we're creating now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use section tags here and we're going to give it a class of showcase. All right. And then inside here, we're going to have a container. OK, in the container, we're going to have um, an H1. OK, I'm just going to say custom bootstrap 
WordPress theme. And then we're going to have a paragraph. And I'm just going to paste this in. It's just some, uh, it's some dummy text. All right. And then we're going to have a button. Well, it's going to be a link formatted as a button. Okay. So we're going to give it a class of BTN, BTN primary, and BTN LG large. And it's just going to say read more. Okay, so that's the showcase area. If we go and take a look at that page, front.html, it should look like that for now. And then we're going to have the area with the three boxes. So that's going to be another section. And we're going to give this a class of boxes. All right, so we're going to have a container. We'll have a container and then inside that we're going to have a row. Okay, we're going to use the bootstrap grid system here. So what we want is three four column divs. So we're going to have class call MD four. All right, and then inside here we'll have another div with the class of box so that we can style these. And then we'll have uh, we're going to be using font awesome for our icons. So instead of downloading the font awesome package, we're just going to grab the CDN. Okay, so we'll just grab this link here and let's go include that up here. Paste that in. Rel style sheet. And now we should have access to the icons. All right, so back down to our box here. We're going to put an i tag, give it a class. And we can choose an icon. If we go to font awesome, I don't know the exact URL. And then we go to icons, you can see. There's a ton of different icons that we can choose. Uh, let's grab this one group. If we click on that, it'll give us the class. Okay, so we can just grab that. All right, and then under that, we're going to have an H3. And let's just put some dummy text in here. Same thing with the paragraph. I'm just going to grab that real quick. Paste that in. Okay, so that's one box. Now what we're going to do is copy this four column div. And we want two more of these. All right, and then what we'll do is change up the icon. So let's grab, let's see, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll get the gears. So we'll just change this to gears and let's get, uh, let's see, we'll do search for this one. All right, so let's save that and see what that looks like. Okay, so it doesn't look very good yet. We have to style it. So what we'll do is go into that style.css file and go all the way to the bottom and we'll add some custom styles. All right, and I'll just put a comment here. All right. So first we're going to have the showcase. Okay, we had a class called showcase. And let's put in a height of 600 pixels. And let's do Let's do some padding. Okay, we just want 100 pixels on the top and bottom. And we'll do 20 on the left and right. Okay, we want to align everything to the center. We want a border on the bottom. And that'll be gray. 
one pixel solid. And let's say margin bottom. We'll give 30 pixels on the bottom. And let's see, the color is going to be white. And then we're going to have a background image. So we're going to say background URL. That's going to be in dot dot slash IMG slash showcase dot JPEG. And like I said, the link uh, to the uh, GitHub page should be in the description. We're going to set this to no repeat and then we're going to center and center. OK, so that's the actual showcase div. Now the showcase heading, we're going to say showcase H1. And let's give this a font size of 55 pixels. Padding bottom, we'll say 20 pixels. And color should be white. All right, so we also have the paragraph. Okay, showcase paragraph is going to have a font size of what was it? Um, 20 and then a margin bottom of 50. Okay, so that should do it for the showcase area. Let's take a look. Okay, now we just we can't see the text because we don't have the image. So let me just um, let me just grab that. Okay, so we'll have a folder called IMG and paste that in, reload, and there we go. Okay, so that's our showcase area. Now for the, the boxes down here, let's style those. Okay, we don't have much to do there. We're going to take the boxes class and we're going to align to the center. We're going to give a background of white. And let's set margin bottom to 30 pixels. All right. Now the icons themselves are way too small. So we're going to take, um, we'll say box and then dot FA. And let's set the font size to 45 pixels. And I'm going to make that important. And then we'll set a margin bottom of 10 pixels. All right, and then finally we have the box class and we just want to set some padding. We'll say 15 and and I also want to set a border. That'll be gray one pixel solid. All right, so let's take a look and there we go. So that's our front page. So we have the HTML and the CSS and it's nice to, to just get that out of the way so that we can now focus on our WordPress theme and um, the PHP code and all that. All right. So in the next video, we're going to get WordPress set up and start to uh, turn this into a WordPress theme.